of this video you kind of already tell what the video is going to be about i'm gonna do a little office depot um haul i did go to office depot and i grabbed a couple of stuff so before i used to go to office depot to print out any prints that i needed as far as flyers um, certificates for my lash classes and all things like that and i would literally leave home depot spending about three four hundred dollars on just paper printing what I decided to do now is I'm sick of spending that much money at Office Depot so I did get myself a printer and I grabbed a couple of things from Office Depot as well. So, so what I want to do is do a Office Depot haul. I don't even know if people do Office Depot hauls but Jay Slay about to do one. So I'm going to show you guys the printer I got. I kept my receipt um, so I can tell you how much I paid for the printer and also tell you everything else I bought along at Office Depot with my printer so that I can start printing my flyers, um, printing my thank you cards, printing out my aftercare card. So first I'm going to show you the printer that I got. So, I got an HP NV Photo 7155. So the printer alone was $179. So the ink that I need to use for mine is the 64 HP. So I got it in black and also in color. Did not find this in any Office Depot. I literally went to Office Depot, Walmart, Target, um, Best Buy and nobody had the ink so I had to order the ink off of Amazon. The black ink was $18 and the color ink was about $28 I believe. So I got that. I also did get paper. I got regular printing paper um, just in case I need to print anything that does not need to be specifically on any um, thick paper. I got this paper as well, it's a lot more thicker and it has a little shine to it. So this is where I'll be printing out my flyers, my thank you cards and things like that. And the last thing I did was get another one. Um, this one's a little bit more, a lot more thicker actually. It's like a cardboard box, so that's what I got. So the regular copy paper was $8.39. Um, the cardboard one was $14 and the other one was $12. So I got that. Next thing I got was a paper cutter trimmer. I do not cut straight for nothing in the world with a pair of scissors. So this is about to be my best friend um, when it comes to cutting my papers with my flyers and things like that. Because I don't want to waste paper and just print a whole thing. So I probably will put like multiple um, flyers on one paper. So. This is gonna come in handy when it's time when it's time to do the cutting. Another thing I got was a single punch holder. Uh, reason being is I plan on well since I just moved to these apartments, I plan on printing out a whole bunch of flyers and leaving them on people's doors, just letting them know that I'm new to the building and giving them like a flyer with all my services on there. So got that along with this. Oh sorry, the punch holder was a dollar ninety nine. The last thing I got from there, I purchased a pack of rubber bands. This was, seems like it's not on the receipt, so I guess free. So <laughs> I got a pack of rubber bands um, so that when I do make the flyers for the people here in my apartment building, I just punch hold it in the corner, use a rubber band so I can tie it onto their doorknob. So that's everything I got from Office Depot the other day. I also did get like a cute little file cabinet just to store all of my supplies that I bought today from the store. That was um, $49 um, and it comes with wheels and about six um, drawers so that I could put my stuff in. That's all I got today. I am gonna make another video on how I make my flyers and how I print them out. So these are your essentials when you want to print your flyers at home. Make sure you have a printer. Printer, obviously you need some ink. 
gets you some good quality thick paper for your flyers uh paper cutters for those who are like me and do not know how to cut straight and just these are like accessories that i got so that i can go ahead and post my flyers around everyone's door here in my apartment building i'm new to their city they don't know who i am and i'm not only going to rely on social media to make sure that i push my business out there so that's a business tip don't rely on social media so that your business can get pushed out there you got to do the hard work you have to do the labor and that's all i have for you guys today for this video please don't forget to comment like and please 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 subscribe to this video i have so much more things coming i'm going to try to post a vlog or a video weekly on my channel i'm going to do videos about business tips um ways that i make my flyers how do i print my flyers so just please please subscribe to my channel Roja Girl shit. she do have she lashes off